Hey everybody, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. And today we're talking about a question that people ask me all the time. Prairie Grove versus Pea Ridge. Two polar opposite towns, two polar opposite parts of Northwest Arkansas. And say we're looking at them going back to back, toe to toe, pros versus cons of both those cities. So let's talk about that. But before we begin, if you like and share this video with a friend or family that would make the world a difference, I try to produce as much content as humanly possible about Northwest Arkansas, obviously. So liking and also sharing, make sure that everyone can live, work, and play all in NWA. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Also, if you are coming down to Northwest Arkansas, definitely give me a call. Let's meet up for coffee. Let's check out some homes for sale. Let's check out some homes for rent. Let me know when you're coming in. We'll meet up and we'll do all the big tours of Northwest Arkansas. And if you haven't been down to Northwest Arkansas quite yet, I made something called the NWA Starter Pack. Sounds exactly what it is. It's literally a starter pack full of all the cool things in Northwest Arkansas. What's going on in downtown Benville? What's going on in Fayetteville? What are the schools like? What are the hospitals like? All the cool things you want to know about Northwest Arkansas, package right in the box, ship right to your home. Enter your name below, enter your address below. Where can I ship this package to? Just let me know in the information below. I'll make sure they get the package shipped to you right away, of course. And side note, it does come with your first free mountain bike, so that's pretty cool. And, 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 and I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. It is my favorite parlor F word. Free! So enter your information below. I'll make sure they get the package shipped to you right away. Ooh. And the first thing we're going to do a little bit of an intro for these uh, two towns. So Pea Ridge sits on the north side of Northwest Arkansas, adjacent to Bentonville, which we'll talk about in a second. And so that's definitely on the more of the Benton County kind of style up there. And then uh, Prairie, and we'll talk more about the specifics of the city themselves. And then Pea Ridge has around like a 7,200 population styles, and, and that might seem small to you potentially, and we'll talk about why that makes a difference in a second. And then also Prairie Grove, which is on the far south of NWA, adjacent to Fayetteville, they sit around like 74, 7,500 people. So similar population sizes, growing, obviously. And so uh, very different cities, different styles in North Arkansas. And so we're going to talk about some of those styles and differences right now. And the first thing we're talking about is Pea Ridge and the perks and the pros of Pea Ridge. The first and most obvious thing about Pea Ridge, and I've said this a lot of times before, is the fact that it is adjacent to Bentonville. It is very, so close, one road right to Bentonville. And so if you have been researching moving to the area, Bentonville, even Bella Vista, or even possibly Centerton, a good option to instead of Centerton is Pea Ridge. It's actually easier to get from Bentonville, to Bentonville, excuse me, from Pea Ridge versus Centerton oftentimes. So it's one of the things to keep in mind if you are looking for Bentonville culture, everything that happens in Bentonville for obvious reasons, uh, definitely check out Pea Ridge. So close, it's like seven minutes from any almost any part of Pea Ridge to Bentonville. So keep that in mind as you're looking in the area. And number two of a pro about Pea Ridge, and this kind of goes hand in hand with North Arkansas, is the fact of affordable housing. Of affordable housing. It is very affordable to find new construction, brand new homes in Pea Ridge. So if you are looking for more affordable housing style, anywhere from like 250 ish around the Rosh Homan style, which is a builder around the area, all the way up to higher, definitely keep that in mind. Pea Ridge has a variety and a wide range of homes in that area. Um, I've obviously sold quite a few homes in Pea Ridge when it comes to the more affordable housing style, anywhere from like 275 up to 350 ish. There are homes that definitely go higher than that, but is that kind of sweet spot when it comes to affordable housing? Uh, definitely look into Pea Ridge. You will find a great home over there. And number three of a pro when it comes to Pea Ridge, and this is probably the question I get asked the most, is equity factor. Like how much money is your home going to value in the next couple of years just based on inflation and life and North of Arkansas, et cetera. And so obviously uh, I can definitely tell the future. We all know that. <laughs> no. Um, so my prediction is that Pea Ridge is going to have a lot of equity because of its proximity to Bentonville. So you're banking heavy on Bentonville because of Walmart HQ, J.B. Hunt, Tyson, Walmart, the whole thing. Obviously J.B. Hunt and Tyson are farther south, but a lot of you know people move into Bentonville because they work there. The vendors that have moved here, uh, obviously because of Walmart's connections, et cetera. So huge growth in uh, Bentonville, the downtown section, trail systems, all the HQs moving here. So you, you, you know what I'm saying. So banking on that, Pea Ridge equity will go up quite a bit just because of the area in general and because housing is so affordable there. So that's my prediction is that there's going to be a decent amount of equity built up in Pea Ridge uh, the next couple of years. And number four of a pro when it comes to Pea Ridge is the infrastructure. Now, I don't mean infrastructure. I'm, I'm going to nerd out here for a second, so bear with me. Uh, I'm not infrastructure. I don't mean like parks and this and that and trail systems, the whole thing. Uh, and we'll talk about some of the cons of Pea Ridge in a second, in just a little bit. But the infrastructure, I mean, actually, like the, the nuts and bolts. So like we're talking sewer systems, we're talking electricity, we're talking natural gas, we're talking like roads, the whole thing. Much better infrastructure than other parts of Northwest Arkansas. And I don't mean like amazing. I mean that they're ready for growth. 
And so this is more of an investor view of things, but P Ridge has done a good job of making sure that their infrastructure when it comes to growth is ready and good to go. So it's not a hindrance in the future when it becomes obviously a much larger city. So that's one of the things that P Ridge is doing has done well because they had to kind of get ahead of the curve here is actually put good infrastructure there so that growth is ready for the area, which means that businesses, other housing developments, other commercial stuff will follow along the way, of course. And five, and this kind of goes without saying around Northwest Arkansas in general, but good schools. Uh, brand new high school in Pea Ridge, uh, obviously great school system out there. Uh, people oftentimes leverage Bentonville for a lot of other areas like Centerton and Bell Vista, but Pea Ridge is a good school system at, at all. I'll let you do your research, of course, but Pea Ridge is known for having a good school system, good football team, good sports, etc. So something to keep in mind is that Pea Ridge does have a good system. So if you are moving to the area for that reason, definitely check out Pea Ridge. And let's move over to Prairie Grove Pros. That's a lot of words, <laughs> Prairie Grove pros. And the first pro when it comes to Prairie Grove, and this is kind of the same, you're gonna start to see comparison here. Uh, you know, Pea Ridge has close to Bentonville, Prairie Grove has Fayetteville. So that's something to keep in mind is that it's very easy access to Fayetteville. Now we'll talk a little bit about the con about that in a second. But one of the major pros to Prairie Grove, as well as maybe another town called Farmington, which kind of sits between the two, but one of the perks of Prairie Grove is the adjacency to Farmington, or excuse me, to uh, Fayetteville. And obviously, if you know anything about Fayetteville, college town-esque area, not 100% college town. There's obviously 100,000 people that live in Fayetteville and, you know, all 100,000 people actually, actually live in the city. That's not college numbers at all. So there's a lot of, you know, mixed ages around Fayetteville, but there's obviously a lot of things that happen in Fayetteville, a lot of concerts, a lot of people move to Fayetteville, a lot of really cool homes in Fayetteville, a lot of cool businesses in Fayetteville, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So anyways, long story short, or short story long, is that Prairie Grove is adjacent to Fayetteville and uh, people love it. And number two, when it comes to a pro of uh, Prairie Grove is, and this is one of my favorite things, is the historic homes. And that's one of the things that I truly love about Prairie Grove, and not a lot of cities have that. That's a unique factor of Prairie Grove specifically, is there other cities are older, like maybe Rogers potentially, or you know some of Bentonville, but those homes have been redone to some extent. But Prairie Grove is one of the few cities that actually has historic homes that are been kept up, restored, and, and like not restored meaning like tearing down and built back up. Sometimes that happens in Bentonville. But we're talking true on historic homes in Prairie Grove. And so when you go to Prairie Grove, you're gonna notice that kind of style. You'll go through almost any sort of area in Prairie Grove, you're gonna see historic homes. And obviously there are parts of Prairie Grove that are a little bit more like, that need, need, need to be more redone, so to speak. But it's one of the things that there are so many historic homes in Prairie Grove that you will love it if you love historic homes. And number three of a pro when it comes to Prairie Grove is the actual downtown section of Prairie Grove. Now it is, I would consider smaller, but it has that antique kind of vibe, but it does have a true downtown section. Comparison to other parts of Northwest Arkansas, like we have downtown uh, Benville, we have downtown Rogers, we have Pinnacle Rogers, we have downtown Fayetteville, we have downtown Springdale. Prairie Grove actually has its own downtown section, which they will leverage 100% in the future. Whereas Pea Ridge, and we'll talk about some of the differences there, Pea Ridge doesn't have a downtown section necessarily as a road and it's kind of being developed. So I'll mention that in the cons as well, but there's something to keep in mind is that Prairie Grove has a true downtown section. It's growing, there's more businesses being moved in there and actually redoing some of the parts of downtown as we speak. So something to keep in mind is that there's a true downtown section of Prairie Grove. And number four of a perk and pro of Prairie Grove is the affordable housing. Now, when it comes to uh, comparison between, um, I would consider Pea Ridge versus Prairie Grove, Prairie Grove has, I would consider a little bit more affordable housing, more options to choose from, from a more realistic standpoint. In uh, Pea Ridge, there's more, I would consider higher priced affordable housing, if you want to call it that, but there's definitely more affordable housing in, in Prairie Grove. But that's one of the perks of Prairie Grove is the affordable housing. There's a, a many new developments in the area, many new developments coming down uh, MLK, like the Main Street area, uh, through Fayetteville down to Prairie Grove. And so you have a lot more options when it comes to affordable housing in the area, new builds, and even some of the older builds or people selling their homes. So just keep in mind, if you're looking for affordable housing, there probably is more realistic affordable housing in Prairie Grove versus Pea Ridge. And number five of a perk and pro of Prairie Grove, man, that is a mouthful, is the aquatic center and all the parks in the area. So I love the aquatic center over in Prairie Grove because it's an aquatic center, it's fun. And there's not like there's not so many aquatic centers around Northwest Arkansas. We have Rogers, there's one in uh, Bentonville as well, as well as uh, Prairie Grove. Now Fayetteville has their own stuff. They have like Walker Park, they have Gully Park and stuff like that. Um, but uh, Walker Park truly is that like kind of aquatic center for uh, Fayetteville. It's not like a slides and everything, but they have a pool there. But Prairie Grove has a true aquatic center slide pool, the whole thing, classes, so much fun. So anyways, if you're all looking for that kind of smaller community kind of style with parks and aquatic center, definitely check out Prairie Grove. It is a lot going for it. And the last pro of Prairie Grove is the fact that roads getting to 
um, actually from Fayetteville to Prairie Grove and vice versa, so easy. There's a five lane highway that connects all of that. So traveling between the two, not a problem. So it's one of the things that I wanna compare Pea Ridge to uh, Prairie Grove is the fact that, the and we'll talk about this in the cons again, um, but there's a difference between the two and I'll, I'll save that for the con, but it's so easy to move from uh, Fayetteville or even 49th for some aspect to uh, Prairie Grove, super easy access. Whoa, whoa, before we jump on to the next point, I have something brand new called Instant Home Updates. So maybe you're looking to move down to the area and you're using things like Realtor.com, Zillow.com, or Redfin. Way too slow, notifications, way too slow. You're missing out so many homes, so many, so many homes. That's why I made something called Instant Home Updates. It sounds exactly what it is. It's loading Instant Home Updates. So enter your information below, name, square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms, where do you want to move from North Arkansas? Where do you want to be? Do you want to be in Prairie Grove? Do you want to be in Prairie Ridge? I don't know. We'll find out. Let me know in the information below all that information. I'll make sure you don't miss a single notification when it comes for homes for sale or for rent all in North Arkansas. Also, side note, every single Friday I send an email out just kind of talking about all the cool things North Arkansas. What's going on in downtown Benville? What's going on in Fayetteville? When is the when is the Benville's uh, film festival happening right now, actually? When is what's going on in the Walmart Amphitheater? When is the Foo Fighters coming here, which they are today? All the cool things happen in North Arkansas. Enter your email below. Enter your name below. I'll make sure you get that email every single Friday. But side note, you will get a little fear of missing out, a little FOMO, so to speak. But I promise you will be the most informed person eventually when you make your way down to North Arkansas. All right, so with every pro comes a con. Huh. So let's talk about some of the cons of P Ridge. Now the first con of P Ridge, I kind of hinted this a little bit ago, was there ain't much going on in uh, P Ridge. Uh, we're talking, I mean, maybe the, the hope for P Ridge is that it's going to develop and build, etc. If you've been in P Ridge the last like year or so, they've put in like a, like sounds so funny, but they put a Wendy's in there. So they put, I think a Domino's in there. Like there's businesses that are investing into the area. So it's definitely a get in there early kind of thing and hope that things work out, which I, that's the intended plan, of course, infrastructure there, housing development's happening, land is being bought out. So it's gonna happen. It's just more of like, what is it downtown gonna be looking like? And we'll talk about that in a second. But the thing with P Ridge is that there ain't much going on downtown. Downtown, you're definitely leveraging, definitely leveraging Benville and all of P Ridge. And the second con when it comes to P Ridge, and this is a direct difference between P Ridge and Prairie Grove, is getting from Bentonville to P Ridge one road, great, but when you're driving from work, it can be a little bit of a, a little bit of a fun time to say the least because everyone's driving from Benville to Pea Ridge. So eventually as they expand that one road, uh, there's a two lane highway, uh, two lane highway. It's they eventually have to do four lane, I'm sure of it, or even five lane in some extent. So there hasn't been necessarily plans for, like done yet that are going to do this. I'm sure that it's in the works, at least being thought about, but it's something to keep in mind if you are traveling in those main time frames, it can get a little, a uh, little hectic sometimes, uh, in that one road between Pea Ridge and Bentonville. And number three of kind of a con, and I mentioned this in my Pea Ridge stuff is that the, the affordable housing seems a little bit more less affordable in Pea Ridge. Now they're banking hard on development of Bentonville, of course, as, as one should. Um, but it's something to keep in mind if you are looking for the most affordable housing, the most affordable housing, you're probably gonna have better chances in, in Prairie Grove, but you're gonna lose out obviously some of the perks of living so close to Bentonville, so keep that in mind. But housing seems to be a little bit more challenging for affordability in Pea Ridge uh, versus other places. Now I know there's a lot more developments happening in Pea Ridge, so keep that in mind. So just to be aware that affordable housing is a little more challenging in Pea Ridge and way more affordable housing in uh, Prairie Grove. And number four of a con when it comes to Pea Ridge is the no downtown section. Um, I hope that they kind of map something out when it comes to downtown. I don't foresee that there's like, so we'll see, but there's at the moment, I don't see a downtown section. There's like, you know, there, there's not a place where you hang out, do things and then leave kind of thing. It's just kind of like a big intersection kind of thing over there in Pea Ridge. So just keep that in mind. I don't, I don't know what they're gonna do with the downtown section. If they're gonna make one or if they're gonna like make one out or what they're gonna do with that. But just keep that in mind. There's really no downtown section of Pea Ridge. And with every pro comes a con, huh? Let's talk about Prairie Grove cons. And number one, when it comes to cons of Prairie Grove, uh, and this is a direct comparison to Pea Ridge to Benville, and this is a direct comparison to Prairie Grove to Fayetteville, the distance between Prairie Grove to Fayetteville is greater than the distance from um, Bentonville to Pea Ridge. Now, side note, the road getting from the highway, honestly, from Prairie Grove to Fayetteville, a lot easier to travel. I mean, meaning it's, it can be less packed in certain time frames. So keep that in mind. 
Also, you'll have an adjacent city named Farmington that sits between the two, so sometimes you can just do stuff there and then come back to Prairie Grove, so keep that in mind. But uh, there is a greater distance for sure between Prairie Grove and Fayetteville versus Pea Ridge and Bentonville. So just kind of keep that in mind if you are looking to travel between the two cities. And number two when it comes to con of Prairie Grove is the fact that there isn't a lot going on, but it's definitely more than Pea Ridge. Because Prairie Grove has a downtown section, there's a lot of things happening there. There's festivals, there's events, there's you know there's a lot more movement than Pea Ridge. Um, so keep that in mind. Prairie Grove has a lot more history when it comes to building up development and etc. Pea Ridge is still kind of up and coming in that regards, but not a massive amount of things going on. But it's something to keep in mind if you are looking to move to uh, Prairie Grove. And number three, when it comes to a con moving out to Prairie Grove, is the fact that it is a little bit of longer distance to 49, which is our major highway that runs north and south to connect all the cities in Northwest Arkansas. It is a bit of a longer distance from Prairie Grove to 49 versus Pea Ridge to 49. So keep that in mind as you are, you know, depending on where you want to end up, it depends if it's job related or if it's just remote working related, et cetera. Just keep that in mind if you're kind of bouncing between the two cities. And the last con when it comes to Prairie Grove is the fact that even though there's historical homes in Prairie Grove, a lot of them, some of the homes there definitely need some more upkeep, so to speak, if you get my drift. So keep that in mind is that there is a lot of new construction, there's a lot of historical homes, great downtown section, easy access, the whole thing. But keep in mind is if you are looking around Prairie Grove, there are, are some homes that might need some more upkeep. Now, if you want to be an investor and kind of flip those homes, great, or just kind of, you know, get some elbow grease in there, keep that in mind. But you'll find more of those homes mixed in with historical homes in Prairie Grove. So just keep that in mind if you are looking to move in the area. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you are thinking about coming down to Northwest Arkansas, download my 3D itinerary link below. Maybe you're a venturer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sightseer, maybe you have kids, whatever it is. There's a 3D itinerary link down below for you. So go ahead and download it and use it when you get down here. Also, when you do come down here, I can give you the $10 tour so I can kind of show you around the whole area. Plus, we can check out some homes for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar would go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right, guys, let's see the next one.